This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, my sculpts are pixelated in areas. What is causing this? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have the head from the Nick Z human male loaded in here. And the question is referring to when you're coming across and sculpting on your model, like so. You may find that one area of the model is generating this really nice kind of clean stroke. But if you go to another area and sculpt, you're getting this pixelated effect. So this effect is related to the amount of topology you have in areas on your model. So if I go to the geometry tab here and just go down to the lowest subdivision and turn on polyframes, you're going to see the differences here between the two sides of this eye. So this side over here has a lot of vertex points. Any of the sculpting brushes you use inside of ZBrush are manipulating these vertex points. And this is what's creating that sculptural effect. So if you have an area of your model that is really densely populated with topology, when you sculpt on it, it's going to give a much clearer result than an area that is not densely populated with vertices. So the difference between these two eyes, this one has a whole bunch of vertices, and this one hardly has any. So when we sculpt on this side, we're going to get a cleaner resolution to our stroke than we are going to on this side of the model. So when you're sculpting on faces, it helps to establish more topology in areas of the mesh that are going to contain more detail. So areas around the eyes, nose, mouth, and ears. So one option to add topology to a model, if you've already started sculpting, is to use the Freeze Subdivision Level button over here. So I can just come over here and click that. And that is going to freeze the subdivision levels on my model. And now ZBrush is going to be able to use any processes that will only work on a model without subdivisions. So I can come through and select the Z Modeler brush now and come through here and add some edge loops to this eye area over here, like so. After you've added that increased topology to those areas, you can just come over here and unclick this free subdivision level. It's going to project your subdivisions and sculptural detail back. And now I can come through and if I sculpt on this side of the model here or this side of the model here, I'm going to get a more consistent stroke between those two areas. So you just want to make sure you have enough topology established so that when you use these sculpting brushes, there's enough vertices to push and pull and move around to give you that clean stroke. Now, another thing of note is if you don't need to have a base mesh, you can always use DynaMesh as well. And DynaMesh is going to come through your entire model and establish an even surface everywhere. So if we come over here to the Geometry tab and open up the DynaMesh area here, I'm just going to set the resolution here to say 512, and then I'm going to click DynaMesh. Now when this process is done, you're going to notice that now I have an even distribution of polygons and vertices across the entire mesh. So if I sculpt on this part of my model, or this part of my model, or this part of my model, all these strokes are going to give me the same consistent quality. So by using DynaMesh, you can make sure that every surface on your model is going to be evenly distributed with polygons, allowing you to get even sculpting everywhere. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.